Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel and today I'm doing my review on Mighty Morphin Power Rangers once and always give you my thoughts on the movie this is basically 30 years anniversary of Power Rangers Mighty Morphin Power Rangers I thought it was pretty good it wasn't too bad I gave it like a a uh, 7 out of 10 it wasn't too bad I really enjoyed it seeing some the original cast being back to the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and the second Power Rangers, the Pink Ranger and the Red Ranger. Also, I'll tell you the second cast in the second. So, give you my spoilers over in the whole movie, where do we see, which I'll get into this in a second. Uh, Trina, the Yellow Ranger, she sacrifices herself to save Billy against Robo, uh, Robo, uh, Rhea Repulsa, Rhea Repulsa is mad, but she took over, um, Alpha 5, and took over his body and became a robotic version, because, we understand, the original Rhea Repulsa, the actor passed away years ago, same with Trina, she passed away years ago, so she, in this story, she's Trina, the Yellow Ranger, sacrificed herself to save Billy from being destroyed from the Repulsa. So, Billy and <clears throat> Zach has to break the news to uh, Kwan, Mina Kwan, her daughter, that uh, Re Repulsa, her mom died because she was killed by Re Repulsa. So, they try to figure out how to break the news to her, but she walk in on both of them and she it kind of, it's been spilled beans, but she wants to get back at Rhea Repulsa. This whole story is about her trying, trying to get, become a ranger, trying to get back at Rhea Repulsa, and not listening to Billy or Zach by not doing what they told her. It's too dangerous for her, but eventually she does help. She gets captured. Rhea Repulsa, her plan is she captures other rangers, Jason, uh, Rocky and them, so you get other rangers come in, the second rangers, yeah, uh, we get Catherine, we get Ro Rocky DeSantos, and we get Robo, so we get other rangers being captured, the plan is she brings it out, we see Robo Rhea bring back two others, and then fall the lizard, and another one I forget already, and she wants to go back in time to tell younger Rita of what's the future holds so that way she can kill the younger version of the Power Rangers. So eventually they come up with a plan to stop them and they do the they do stop them. She cop Rita captures other rangers to train their power so she can go back in time and warm her younger self. So eventually Trina Star does become a Power Ranger. She does help out. And she helps just this is not about revenge, it's more about justice. She helps Billy and Zag. And you have Catherine as well. Rocky. Rocky as well. <clears throat> and this is a second ranger. Second Red Ranger. Second Second Pink Ranger. So yeah, I like the ending of the of the movie as well. You get to see a little like a member, member of um, Jason David Frank and and Trina as well. At the end of the film, you can see that mem memorization of them because they passed away years ago. Especially Jason David Frank not too long ago. But overall, it was pretty good. It wasn't too bad. It was something to me. If you look and say something to watch, something for the family to watch, something for your kids to watch, you can watch that. I mean, yeah, they're much, if they're much older now, Billy and Zach, but you know, they're still represent the Mighty Morphin, but you can tell it's mostly the Blue Ranger leading the way, not like rocking and stuff like that, or Jason, so, so, you know, it was good. I, like I guess I gave it a 7 out of 10. It wasn't too bad. See, I understand what you bring back Rhea Repulsa, but she's more robust because you have the original actor, but the original actor passed away a couple of years, a couple of years ago. So you have to do what you gotta do. So it wasn't too bad. I understand why you brought back Rhea Repulsa. Rhea Repulsa is a popular villain. So in the Mighty Morphin series.
overall, like I said, 7 out of 10. It was pretty good. I really enjoyed it. And I don't know about you, but would you, I recommend checking it out. Just be watching one, see what you guys think. It's not too bad. Or if you want to go back, go back and watch the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers series on Netflix. So, overall, it was not too bad. Not too bad at all. Like I said, 7 out of 10. Pretty good story. Like I said, Minotaur and it was Minotaur and Lizard, and he had the putty. <laughs> so, plus you also see some rangers in space. It's the two from Rangers from space, and well, you also see green, well, but you don't see like the original, you know, due to pass away and stuff like that. You know, it is what it is. But it was overall, it was okay. It was okay in my book. Good, it was a good story. Nice to see, like, an actual by any more than movie for a long time. Anyway, if you enjoy my review, please like, please comment, and also please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. I thank all my subscribers for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, and viewing. Without you, I won't be doing these. So, thank you, everybody. Hope you have a safe and wonderful Monday, and I will see you next time. Take care, stay safe, stay humble, and be a blessing.